Right, we're taking you live now to Sydney where New South Wales opposition leader Chris Minns Western is speaking. Bearing the brunt of a population explosion, a massive increase in communities and families, but the infrastructure that these communities need to thrive and survive is not materialising. So this is a small announcement that we're making today, part of a bigger push by New South Wales Labor to be a champion for Western Sydney. We can't be in a situation where the eastern suburbs with its slow growth rates gets brand new public transport infrastructure, but the fast growing western suburbs get brand new toll roads. That's not a fair deal. That's not what the taxpayers of this community have asked for and are demanding. And we're determined to square the ledger if we're elected in March this year. Courtney. Um, well, good morning, everyone. Thank you, everyone, colleagues, Chris, um, and of course our local sporting communities for joining with us today. We're making an important announcement for the southwestern Sydney and for the, particularly for the Macarthur region that we will upgrade Eagle Vale High School to become a sports high school. This is an important, just over four million dollar investment in a local public high school that will ensure that kids right across the Macarthur region can pursue their sporting dreams to become. Uh, to become elite athletes. Importantly, it allows them to combine both of that elite coaching, but also to continue to pursue their education, which is so important. We know that athletes do have, unfortunately, a limited career, and we think it's really important that whilst they pursue those sporting ambitions, they also still get that access to education at the same time. 12 years of Liberals and Nationals has resulted in New South Wales having the fastest falling education outcomes in the world, teach chronic teacher shortages across our schools, and the New South Wales Liberals and Nationals have failed to plan and build the schools that our communities need right across the state, but particularly here in southwestern Sydney. We see the sea of demountables at Oran Park Public School, at Gledswood Hills Public School, where there were 13 demountables, now 22, 13 in their second year of operation. These are taking up valuable play space for kids uh, when they should be actually planning appropriately to build that school infrastructure for the areas that they need. Indeed, there are a number of schools that the Liberals have, and Nationals have promised for this part of, of Sydney that have failed to materialise. Talk to the parents in Gregory Hills who drive past a vacant block of land every day to the overcrowded Gledswood Hills Public School uh, or the, the parents of Leppington who were promised a new selective high school four years ago and this government has failed to even give them a specific site for that location for that school. We understand that parents and students and communities in Western Sydney are ambitious for their kids and we want to partner with them to give them the best opportunities possible for their education but also to pursue their sporting dreams. We know that it's a long way to travel from the Macarthur region. The closest sports high school is in uh, Fairfield. That's accessible. It would take over an hour for parts of Macarthur but parts of Macarthur wouldn't even be able to get there if they could get a spot. So we think this is an important announcement today that will give students and families across southwestern Sydney the ability to become the next Michael Clark or the next Usman Khawaja or the next sporting star in their in their particular field. Thanks so much. An update from Labor in New South Wales there, live in Sydney, including a $4 million investment to upgrade to Eagle Vale High School. We'll bring you some more information later today.